Derby County were cast very much in a supporting role when they first appeared on Match of the Day in 1965. The Rams were mid-table in the second division, and players like Colin Bolton, Ron Webster and Alan Durban were still developing. Their opponents that day, Northampton Town, were on their way up to Division 1. Robson just keeping the ball in play. Young getting it clear, but uh, Leck onto it. To Rawdon, he's onside. And there's the first one of the game. Martin, it is the scorer. Martin, number eight. Bowers with the corner. Oh. And that's the equaliser. Durban, number 10, the... There he is, the inside left of Derby County that has leveled the score now in the second half. Walden up to Brown, to Hall. Now. Oh, and a magnificent goal by Brown. Brown, the young former amateur international centre forward. There he is, number nine. Hampton leading by two goals to one. As it comes down to Buxton, Buxton on there to Durban. Oh, and it's the... My goodness me, what a break there. That's Durban that has scored both goals now for Derby. Alan Durban was one of only two survivors from this team to play in Derby's promotion side four years later. By now, a whirlwind called Brian Clough had blown into the baseball ground and launched the greatest days in Derby's history. Wanakit. And welcome once again to Roy McFarlane. There is number five. And it's a goal. the Blackpool defence standing still it's number nine O'Hare who's got it oh McFarland a fine goal what beautiful football we start of course with the national match of the day the first division game which really did turn out apparently to be the match of the day that's between Derby County third in the first division against Everton the league leaders this morning and joining us to watch the match with you is Brian Clough the Derby manager in our Midland studio commentator Ken Wollstonehouse and a tremendous roar greets Dave Mackay and his men of Derby County as they come out for their biggest test in the first division. A game against Everton, the unbeaten league leader. A big crowd in the shirt sleeves on this lovely afternoon to see Derby County with a great start, unbeaten in seven games, take on Everton, unbeaten also in seven games. And Derby County, with this tremendous start in the first division, have their full team out. They'll be playing 4-3-3 with Durban, McGovern and Carlin operating in midfield. Dave Mackay, who's done so much to transform Derby County from an ordinary side to a great side. Durban, the Welsh International will throw. Hector, back to Webster. Oh, it's a great shot, and what a save. Willie Carlin hit that one off the volley. Carlin and McGovern running into space, but he's covered now. Now he's found space again. Oh, and Farland has gone right under the goal line now. Picked up a five. the young supporters back first before we can have this corner. Oh, what an earth! 
Gordon West saying to that one. 20 minutes left, and Everton the league leads, unbeaten. Dropped one point this season, struggling for two goals down. Ball. To Kendall, a great ball. Tremendous goal by Howard Kendall. Hinton to take the free kick. who headed it, Gordon West. Must have been shattered when he saw that human thunderbolt, Kevin Hector, coming at him. It's a great save. Gibbons, and a whistle! They have beat Everton. Everton's first defeat of the season. Two goals to one. There's number nine, John O'Hare, scored the first goal. Two goals to one, a tremendous performance, a tremendous match. All been well beaten. Hit him with the cross. Up to Durban. Durban back to McGovern. McGovern with a shot. Durban. Oh! Durban the scorer. Hector on the far side of the box. Come to Durban. Durban missed with a volley. McGovern. from John McGovern and then Ashurst has the indignity of seeing a snow pass back uh, dribbling over the line to make the score two goals to nil for Derby County. Harlan back to Robson. And Hare and Hector in there. This is Robson going through. Robson with a chance. Come through to Derby. Results like that meant Derby were being talked about as championship contenders only months after leaving the second division. Crowds were topping a record 40,000, although Derby were not quite invincible. For a goal! A good goal scored by Ian Moore, 27 minutes gone. Moore back to Paul for Forrest. Reese. Not more. English Lions is 2 0. Derby finished fourth in their first year up, and the following season started on the ground of FA Cup winners Chelsea. The O'Hare Hector combination still dangerous. Hector. And O'Hare opens the scoring. Chelsea caught with only two men at the back. And the bounce a little bit unlucky for them. Osgood going in. Hutchinson. And that time, Green nowhere. Osman keeping it in. Hutchinson in the middle. Much of what Derby achieved under Clough was down to the strike rate of Hector and to the accuracy of Alan Hinton. His pinpoint crosses were one thing, his powerful shooting was something else. And a great goal by Hinton. That's the way to pick them out of the blue. Boxing Day 1970 saw one of the finest games ever played at the baseball ground and one of the most enthralling scene on match of the day. It's Bakari this time. And it's old. Three minutes play and Manchester United are one down. Dave Bakari to take the free kick. Norm McFarlane. And another goal scored by Whitgall. Oh, 
Yule into Ferran. And the defenders deciding to come up and join him in an attack. Norton Morgan. Law. And a goal! Ten minutes. Started to take the corner. Oh, another fine save. It's a goal! Bester's got it in. Muir is up. So to his Sadler. And it's a goal! Muir scored! What an incredible turnaround! It's three goals in four minutes. This is Demel number 11. Derby beginning to find out what it's like to be all at sixes and sevens. And it was Sadler in the way. Luke Setley can play it. Outside of all, the equaliser from Hector. Three goals each, 66 minutes gone. Hennessy to Hector. To Gemmel, number 11, a beautiful ball. A great goal, yes. He's done it. Gemmel. Kid, it's there! For all, and Derby County were now firmly established in the nation's Saturday night football culture. In the FA Cup, another 40,000 packed the baseball ground for the visit of Wolves. And the referee walking towards the spot, and he's pointed to it. He's given it. So, Hinton, who can really pack them against Parks. Leaving it for a long one from Mike Bailey. Dugan, good back head on McCullough! Magnificent stop and it's in! The last man to touch it was Richards! Mackay into the last minute. Derby won at Wolves in the league this season, but it's going to be difficult for them in a cup replay. Hector, two in the middle. Oh, here go! John O'Hare, and again, pressed it through. Gemmell still close. And then with the in-swinger. Stokes, well controlled. Still got McFarlane with him. This is Payne. And the take on Robson. Oh, no flick. Good goal. Bobby Stokes, the 20 year old, put it in there. It was a beautiful play by Terry Payne. Only on to Gabriel. For Channon. And it's open. The goal's open. There's Stokes. Pushed away by Todd, it had to be. The goal was wide open. Penalty then. Jimmy Gabriel is the man who's going to take the kick. The score, remember, at this moment is two goals to one. Gabriel. 2-2. With goals guaranteed.